Aye, aye. You know it is, man. Verbal Entertainment. We are back with a bang. You know how we do it right now, man. Come on, man. By the way, actually, I'll get into that later, man. Fuck it. But we got Migs, Migs Beats. How are you finding it, man? Yeah, good, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Come on, no problem. No problem in that work, man. Um, how's your journey here? Yeah, good. Nice and calm. No. I missed the first train, though. Oh, I did miss the first train. It's calm. It gets like that, <laughs> man. It does get that, that store. So, firstly, how do you get that name, Migs? Migs. Uh, well, it came from a school nickname. Mm. One of my mates used to call me Miglan. Miglan. Don't know why. He used to call me the London Miglan. You remember the old trains? London Midland, Midland. Yeah, yeah, he used yeah, to yeah. call me London Midland. <laughs> Fucking so, why? Something like that, and then <laughs> no one could say I used to. I called myself Midland Beats as first. That was my first name, mm-hmm. Midland Beats. And then it's it's hard to say. It's a bit complicated. So then an artist that I worked with first, he was an American artist, like like two or three years ago. And like yeah, like international type thing. Yeah, because yeah. I started off with <laughs> trap beats, so that's how it was. And then he just shortened it to Mig, like M I G. And I was just like, I'll put a Z on it. Mix. Fair enough, man. And it stuck, so. So uh, how long have you been making beats for? Uh, f- well, I started making them pr- first off about, I was in year 10. Year 10, like, uh, just towards the end of year 10, about April, May, April, May kind of time. What got you into it, though? It was, um, it was EXO Tour Life. You know that little Uzi, little Uzi song? Yeah. So I, they released the Deconstructed on Genius for that song. Mm. And then I was like, that's mad. Like, it's just on a little laptop, one program thing. I saw that I, it was easy-ish and I'd definitely mm. be able to do it. So I just got it, on, got it on my laptop. And then from there, I just never stopped using FL. Like, Mm-mm. Wait, so what's your go-to? You like FL or is, do you use yeah, like Apple? Definitely, or? definitely FL. Mm. I don't really know my, my way around a Mac or anything. Like, mm-hmm. FL gang. Fair enough. Like, how do you, because obviously, I, like, I feel like the music industry is a very expensive industry to go into, especially starting out. Yeah, it definitely lot, can be. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people don't have that money. So, how, like, how are you able to get it at, at year 10? Uh, well, I already just had a laptop in the house. Mm. So, it started off, it was just like the family laptop, do you know what I mean? But I like I took it up to my room. Like, no one else used it that much. So, then I just got it on there. And then from there, making beats. You only need like a laptop. You don't need anything else. Like you can have all the fancy stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the base is just like the laptop. If you got the laptop, you can make beats. Like, where are you based? I'm in uh, Hertfordshire. What part? Berkhamsted. Berkhamsted. So that like, obviously Berkhamsted. I don't know nothing that happens around there. Nah, not much happens around there. <laughs> <laughs> not much. <laughs> and I doubt there's any rappers or none of that around there. So nah, like, not really. So how do you like? How are you able to get like? the influence you have in terms of having all these rappers hit you up, big rappers hit you up and be like, yo, we need this beat. For, I'll pay you this much rare time. Yeah. Like, how, are you, how are you able to get that? Like, it's, mm. Well, it's mostly, social media is your most like useful tool, I'd say. Mm. So like, because where I'm from, there's no connections into the industry, no connections to rappers and this and this and that. So you basically have to work on your social media presence, I guess. Mm. So you make sure your Instagram is like all good got your snapchat you got your all of it basically youtube is very important i think in terms of getting beats used by rappers because mm-hmm. you never know who's gonna find one basically like the frosty placement i've got on his free tape. frosty yeah free, free frosty. frosty free him man but he that, ain't doing that and he ain't doing that <laughs> but that came from him find, just finding it on youtube so like i didn't even have to do anything about it that's proper so, man that's it's yeah. lucky but it's meant to be i guess that's proper man so like what got you into that? Well, you really, I already asked you what got you into but how's it growing up for you? Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Nothing too fancy or anything. I was just, didn't have a well-off life or didn't have a not well-off life, if you know what I mean. Somewhere in the middle, just mm. just, just yeah, cruising, I guess, basically. Fair enough, man. I had I had necessities in that, like. Like, was how how is it back Hempstead? Because like, that's, <laughs> that just sounds like. Posh. Yeah, it it just yeah. sounds bare far out and like. Yeah, the thing is, it's not far. It's half an hour from Euston on a train, so like it's not too far, but it's very much separate to London. Mm. Like there's not there's nothing going on there. So it's like a very it's like an old little village kind of lifestyle. Mm-hmm. How many oh. beats have you made, like throughout your time? Throughout my time, I couldn't even put a number to that. But this year, I think I'm roughly one forty. One hundred forty. One hundred forty beats. beats, rough. That's yeah. they may not be all finished or anything, but. Roughly 140 from the start of January. Mm-hmm. 
I'll try to make at least one a day, basically. And how, and also, how does it feel to actually be like for rappers such as like o, like the OFB group? You yeah, have yeah. Ink from Ireland as well. You got like M twenty forty on Wayne and that like using your beats. Like, how does that feel? To be fair, it just feels like mad. Like, I can't really say how. It's just I just feel lucky almost because I've not done anything specific to cause anything. I just kept working. I guess that's the key, basically. Just keep consistent. And then opportunities sort of come to you. You don't have to try too much to force it. It sort of just happens if you're working and you're enjoying it like that. So it just feels good to be able to listen to like like Frosty, Desi and that. It feels good to be able to listen to an artist's tape that I would have listened to anyway, but then I, I'm on shuffle and then my song comes on as well. Mm-hmm. It feels pretty good. It's nice. So how, how does it feel for you? Like, like, who, who was the, the first big artist you ever you ever worked for? Probably Ink, to be fair, yeah. Ink. I think Ink was the first one to use my beats. How did he get on the contact with you? Uh, it's, uh, just Instagram DM, I think, pretty sure. Proper. He probably found him on YouTube that when I first started posting. Proper, man. It's proper, man. And um, what, who's, a bit, bit, who's been your favourite producer to work with? Producer to work with? Ooh. Well, there's a lot of good producers out there. In terms of like they can send you melodies and this and that, but in personal, like working in the studio and stuff, X10 come to work because I just get on with him well as well, like because we're similar age and that. So a lot of the producers coming up around our age, like eight, 17, 18, 19, mm. right now. So it's good. Also, Capo D, Capo D, mm. he's been I've been working with him for time because like we started off making beats. We both started off similar to similar times. Uh. Trying to think more. There's probably there's some people that I've missed. K Jigs got the banging melodies. He always sends me nice melodies. I haven't really worked with him for time, mm-hmm. but every time we do, it's a banger basically. So How about rappers, like, is there any r- rap go to rappers like who like maybe you might send a beat to and they're like yeah they're gonna shell it type of thing. To be fair, the way I think when I'm sending out beats, I always just desi like. Desi's a bit of a, like, a lot of people don't rate Desi, but I personally think Desi goes hard. No, people just hate on Desi. Yeah, I don't know what it is. No, because obviously it's some of that street stuff that happens, isn't it? Because obviously, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go into that, but it's, that it's all peak. They just mock yeah, it. the comment it? section on the videos <laughs> and that. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not talk about that one still. So. Yeah. But, uh, mm, go on. So, um, he just, I just feel like Desi could hop on potentially any beat and just he's got that energy already. Mm-mm. The beat don't need to have too much energy. He can bring it even if it hasn't. Like the intro that he hopped on, the intro I made the beat for on his tape, the beat's not got like energy, but his flow just makes it have energy basically. Mm-mm. That's the way I feel. That's proper, man. Like, how about also, you might as well plug two, two people. Who, who do you think is like an underrated producer? Underrated producer? Yeah. It's probably Capo, to be fair. Capo. Capo, he's hard. He's hard. But he hasn't got so many placements out there, so people might not know about him. But his beats are top quality. It's proper, man. It's proper, man. Who, that, who's your inspiration? Inspiration? Well, for Drill, it was M1 on the beat, really. From Aye. the start, just the legend of the scene, I guess. Mm. Original. So that's the guy who first for Drill. But then in terms of initially beats, like Southside and TM88, they're American producers oh, and that. Okay. That was when I was on the like trap wave kind of thing. Enough That's who had got me started, but then for drill, yeah, M1. So, so why did you move from trap to drill? I just, I really liked the beats. They just, even just, you know, the hat pattern, it's different. It's just a different bounce. And it just something, it was something new for me. And I just enjoyed, I made a couple drill beats. They weren't that good. But then I kept <laughs> yes, doing I it a bit. Man. And then I was like, yeah, because you have to get the... Rhythm. The bounce and the rhythm, like, you have to understand. Because when you try and make the transition straight away, it doesn't work. Because as of now, if you listen, there's a lot of trap producers from America trying to make drill, and it doesn't work. Because they haven't got the same kind of, like... It's not raw, it's just sort of, like, it's watered down or something. I don't know. But um, fucking... Like, what was I, what was I going to say? You, a lot of, like, I get told a lot of people, like... That like Joe's dead because like the beats all sound the same, the rappers are sounding the yeah, same. Yeah, They're talking yeah. about the same thing. I hear that. Like, but what, what do you what, what do you think about? That? I think Joe's far from dead, in my opinion. Do you think? Because just it's it's now going 
mainstream. Like it's now slowly developing to radio plays, charts, yeah. stuff like that. And it do, it doesn't it can't it's not like the, the drill drill. And that's I feel that's what people aren't very happy about. Mm. It's sort of changed a bit to a bit more mainstream safe. Yeah, that but makes sense. Like, because I I do feel like w- drill has been watered down. Ne- like, obviously, this is up for the debate. But I think ever since ten eleven, so CGM s- yeah. stepped on the scene. After they they got the injunction, that's when drill started declining in terms of its raw material. Yeah, that can make that makes sense because d- they weren't allowed to even if they wanted to, mm. they couldn't put raw content into their. Songs, I guess. To be fair, they did take the, they mocked it, so they took the piss of the old story. Yeah, like, well. <laughs> like, bro, like, like, there's dissing people and there's like doing that. That's yeah, there's next fun. level. Unne- I mean, I don't know about unnecessary, but it's but like another, it's also another way to get clout, I guess. Yeah, I think they were smart with it the way they was dissing it as well, especially for who ma- the person was. Like, yeah, the yeah. way they've done what they did to get to their position, hats off to them. They've done their thing, they're doing their thing now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. But listeners love the like, they love the crud. Mm. Listeners will love to hear anyone get dissed, even if they have no personal connection at all. Mm. It just they like violence, and they like this kind of stuff, I guess. So like, do, but I, do you think that? But I feel like we're moving away from like where we came from. Like, do you feel like we're ever gonna? Do you think that Joe will ever be the same as it was? Or do you uh, think it's going to become don't more commercial? Think it, I think it's definitely becoming more commercial. I don't know if it'll ever go back to how it was. And half that reason is probably because of the beats as well. What do you think? Because the old, school, old style drill beats, they're just a bit, they're different, but they're the, the same kind of, that's where the bounce came from and stuff. But now they're a lot more professionally sounding. If I mean, like they're more industry quality. That's true. And that is, I feel, one thing I have clocked, especially from like, now all the way from like 2017 2016 yeah uh, even that like, the visuals of the videos that back yeah, then definitely. back then was maybe a dip to a white transition and then like a little fu- a cop like people would would have got gassed off that you know you know when you put the dip to white plus the invert transition yeah just and you bounce off bare times and that and then it's transition i don't know too much scene. about the video uh video thing but i know what you mean they're like that they weren't as High quality Mm-mm. as they are now. I even remember certain videos that it was literally <laughs> it was moving like a PowerPoint. <laughs> nah, yeah, that. nah. Literally. And it was always one set. It's like the block, mm. boss man shop, the block. All the so- all everyone had their videos all set in the same kind of area. Whereas now everyone's branching out, like going to locations to make like sick videos. Like, like just the people have a model. Like, let me know that like, this might sound a bit weird, but <laughs> like that that white white or that. You're talking about doing certain drugs and shanking people and yeah, have yeah. models like what? Yeah, it like, doesn't fit the vibe really, but, but it I, gets the views. I sex appeal, yeah, exactly. It always sells. Do you say I might, ladies, ladies? If like, <laughs> if any of you are leng, if they, if you're leng ten ten, this is a business opportunity. I want you to become like a co-host or something. Just get oh. little models for the for the set here, like yeah, just stand there, maybe twerk a bit, a couple of views <laughs> up, just man. right. Right here, you know. Yeah, literally, man. Just do it for hours straight, stamina. Exactly. Mm-mm. Confidence boost and that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Better quality. Empowerment for women. That's what we want. That's, we what, we're go- that's what we're going that's for. That's what we... Free the nipple. Free the nipple. We want women to be independent and be allowed to do that kind of stuff. You know we're what? Stopping it. Well, there's one thing I've been seeing is like, men shouldn't be able to take off their... Sh- like, if men can take oh, off, yeah, off take their off top, their show in public. women should. And I fully I agree. agree with that. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Whoever, whichever woman said that, I agree 100%. Because women are empowered. They need it's to quality. be empowered. It's straight quality. quality. You can do that and we, we're happy. No one's going to judge you. <laughs> you I won't. I know I won't. <laughs> 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 Fucking old <open. laughs> <laughs> Aye. Would you say you've gone clear? Nah, I wouldn't say I've gone clear. Hump like, obviously, you don't have to say too much, but how much money are you making from well, this? Well, it's beat? not enough to say I've gone clear, basically. Mm. It's not like comfortable living, but it's like for my age, from when I started, it was all right, it was nice because I could mm. just do what I wanted, basically. Mm-hmm. That's if that makes sense. It's not mm. enough to like live on my own, anything like that. Mm-hmm. But I've been able to, to like, you know, mm-hmm. buy nice things, nice things for the mum as well, just stuff little for the designer, house. Designer, like, little Not too much designer, you know. Oh, I haven't bought any designer, I bought tech fleeces and air forces. Ah, oh, fair. Yeah, That's fair, what yeah. I've been. I'd rather have variation than just. I could have bought one piece of designer. I bought a few different tracksuits track and that. That's the way. Let me not that. Like, 
with designer like I, I have a pair of Giuseppe's I bought in like year, year <laughs> yeah, 12 yeah. bro like off, after a couple months I was gas gas now I'm bored fam now you're like oh it's like oh it was so, yeah. it's nice to have though a little one pair maybe yeah. for when you go out and that yeah but go think, out out no but to be fair I just prefer the tracksuit man Fuck yeah it, it's man. comfy Comfy. You can't go wrong. Yeah, like you can't go wrong. Color coordination's easy to do. Yeah, it's matching. It's already matching when you buy the tracksuit. You don't have to worry about the jeans and the t-shirt. You just like, yeah, I've got the whole tracksuit. Maybe, easy. like realistically, all you have to do is like, if even if you're not trying to spend money on shoes, maybe black shoes. Done. Simple yeah. as. Simple. Simple easy peasy. is drip. Mm-hmm. Simplicity is key. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What do you think about this whole drip culture? Let me know. Oh, you know what I hate. You know what? Yeah. You know when you're on Instagram, then you're seeing baddies eat drip, 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 drip. Te- oh, fuck off, bro. I've you have no of, money. I've re- oh, <laughs> you know I've what I'm like the word drip now. So what? It sounds yeah. It annoys me a bit. I'm just like I hear the word drip. I'm like, oh, cringe. This makes me cringe. Yeah, like because it's changed from just like drip used to be like oh, like if you can dress well, you got drip like. But now everyone's like designer is drip, but you can have some ugly looking designer. And people still call it drip. Remember Wimbledon boys? <laughs> <laughs> Remember them, man? It's not properly, but obviously I'm not. I'm not even hating on these man. But but if they could have been, if they were smart, they could have actually done something with it. So they could could have done something with it. Some rappers that, that are really bad, they could use that as their selling point. For real. So like, I've, there's rappers that are dead, but they still get consistently million views each video, or whatever. So yeah, if they were smart, they could have done something yeah, good with just it. Just market yourself. In the right way, I guess. But I remember we read one of the comments. Yeah. One of the comments was like, oh, I beg you don't use my beat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, probably uh, producers do feel like that, I can confirm. It, it feels like that sometimes, but it is what it is. It but is what it is. At least, you, at least you've got a little satin in your pocket. Yeah, exactly. Good noodles, all of that. Exactly. You've got, you've got a stack. you just got every little helps, you know. Mm-hmm. So just keep... Even if it's a bad rapper, it don't matter. Just... Add it and move on to the next one. Like, who do you look to? <laughs> who do you look forward to to working with in future? In future, I don't know who I'm going to work with in future. But if you had a dream, of that, I, that, I would want to get Heady one song. Heady one, fair. just because who he is in the UK and that Heady's he's cold. Mm-hmm. He's just I, got that vibe. He's just, Heady, Heady. If you're watching this, curse man, man. Yeah, come on, hit it, me up, man. Come at Migs Beats on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And and that's your t- that's that's basically your ticket out of the hood, man. Exactly. One song with Heady, um, that would be when I've gone clear. I'd say. Do you think? Because mm. one song with Heady, as long as it's a banger, or <laughs> even like right now, Central C. Oh, I'd like Central to work C. with. I would like to work with Central C. Central Central C's been doing his thing. Yeah, know? he has like. His marketing. I respect it. Been pro- it. Proper as well. Like that. Definitely. What, what I what I think like. Like, what do you think about this whole thing? Or, like, what do you think the, about the whole controversy around like, oh, uh, like s- s- certain youths uh, dissing him about certain things and that? Like, you, I'm not going to talk on that. You can go on a draw page and find out. But, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, the way I see it is like he's doing this thing musically. He might or might not have done what he's rapped about in the past, but I don't think he's the worst case of it oh. ever. <laughs> So he probably, I, I believe he's done certain things on his that he's rapped about, mm-hmm. but but to be fair, a lot of it, like just know a lot of rappers do you talk about the same thing they've done. They they might have done something five years ago and they're yeah, still rapping over about and it. over. <laughs> like yeah, like it's all in different songs. They could have one event where they've done one thing, but rap about it in all different ways in a whole album. And it makes it gives an illusion that they've done more than they have, mm-hmm. but it's not like they've purposely. I don't know if they've purposely done that. Mm-mm. Sort of like if that's what you've got to rap about, that's what you're gonna rap about, I guess. Mm-mm. Um, and now let's go on to the big topic. This is a okay, big topic. Okay. Okay. So obviously, I remember when M twenty four and Tion Wei made. Oh a song yeah, yeah. And they got taken down on for off um, GRM yeah, for a couple yeah. of days actually. Yeah. Taken down. So obviously, can can you talk about that, please? I can. So basically, <coughs> this was February twenty twenty. So last year, and basically M24, Tion Wayne, they released their song London, and it was, it popped off basically, it popped off quickly. Mm. Most Tion, so, Tion Wayne songs do, you can't lie, and M24 saying that. So it popped off in that. I didn't know anything about the song until someone commented. I knew about the song, but I didn't know about the beat. We'll talk about that in a sec, but someone commented on one of my old YouTube videos like, oh, 
mad that M twenty four Tion Wen used this beat for London, and I was like, like did they? Like, they did. They didn't like. So I was. I just went and checked it out, and I was at school. I'm pretty sure it's like I was at school on the day in the morning. So I done the whole. I found out in the morning before I went to school, and then I sent a. I listened to the song. I was like, oh, it's my melody. Like that's what it was. So the producer who made that beat had cut the melody from one of my beats and okay. just like, like completely just cut it. It wasn't just a melody. Are going to name and shame him? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> They're not active anymore anyway. Oh, serious? That was like their first, it was a duo. It was their first. Oh, um, no. It was like their first placement and their first placement was off of that. So I think that sort of just. That is but so I don't cute. know. I can't speak because I don't know really what they're doing. They might be working behind the scenes and that, but. That is so it's peak. unfortunate that was their first place and I think that is so peak but like, that's why you don't do it you don't <laughs> steal people's melodies you don't do it <laughs> you don't do don't that do mate it. you don't do it <laughs> so then, like, but it wasn't like they just sampled it or nothing they had like the vox that I put in as well they just they just blatantly cut it from the video so then after I found out I was like oh that's mad so then I was like I googled like what to do whatever how to do, get a YouTube video taken down copyright, uh, copyright so I don't, yeah. they give out the form and then I just done the form this was all at home before I went to school. So I'd done the form and that, this and that. I sent it off. And like like within a couple hours, three hours or something, it was taken down. Mm-mm. Which was, I was surprised myself. I was like, oh, you know when you do something, but you don't really think it's going to work? Because mm. it's big, it's on GRM, it's two big artists. I was like, this probably isn't going to like, this probably ain't going to be enough to get it taken down. But then I got the notification come through when I was at school and it was like, oh, N24 London's been taken down for copyright infringement of like, and then my video and then from there, I was like, oh, mad. <laughs> and then if you try to go on the video, which was funny, if you try and go on the video, it used to say, like, copyright infringement, this video has been taken down by Migsby. So I actually said oh. who took it down. Yeah, that's good. That's good promotion, so, like, it's you good, know. Yeah, because anyone who went on that video in that time would have been taken, not to my channel, but they would have known who I was. And they could have searched up my channel or my Instagram or anything from that. Mm. So that was good. But then after that, they, they started bugging the whole, like, management team on and everyone they all started bugging because the video was popping and it just got taken <laughs> down when it was popping they were like oh no like it's, it's losing views every hour basically mm. so then they all started trying to get in contact with me like t on wayne dm me and that and i was okay. like okay and he called me off a private number and answered it wait, wait well, how did he get your number i gave it to him in dms and he oh. called me off private number and i was like oh hello this and that and then he was like oh why did you like take it down you should have just come to us we would have sorted it done this and that prayed you but i was like Cap. That exactly. Cap. Exactly. Exactly. Cap. How could I know you would have? You're saying that now because I got the video taken down. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that's not. They're speaking with hindsight. So then we talked and that. And then I spoke to M24's manager because it was M24's song featuring Tion Wayne. So I spoke mm. to Biker, who's M24's manager. And to be fair, they just sorted it like, asked me how much I wanted and then just paid it. Okay. So they were good about it. Get that back. They were good about it. So I can't complain. But do you but have they worked with you since? Have they used any of your beats nah, since? I haven't. Do you think that they're do you think that they're pissed at you? Type of thing. I reckon it's sort of like a I don't know. Maybe what? they don't want any more issues in but it's not it wouldn't be issues if they just come to me first. Do you know That's what I mean? True. That's true. But it wasn't their fault. That's why they were nice about it. It was the producers they didn't make M24's team and that aware of the situation. They wouldn't have said, Oh, we took this melody from some kid's YouTube video. So basically, when his team and that found out, they were like, oh, like, that's the producer's fault. Mm. So it's their fault that they didn't tell that it was a melody from someone else. Mm-mm. So they were just calm, sorted it. It got sorted all on the day. It was calm. It was calm. You made a little bag, yeah? I got the little bag, oh. yeah, nice. A little royalty? Oh. Not really. Well, it's a little sad. It's all right. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Like, has that ever happened before? Is that something that sim- that happens regularly with people using a beat? And that? I'd say so, yeah. Within um, YouTube beats that you post. Because yeah. rappers can just do the whole... Obviously, a, a nice, genuine comp- rapper, that they would they would holler you. They'd be like, I want to buy this. Send me the files and that. But people can obviously just... MP3, MP3 convert. MP3 convert, exactly. I use it myself, I can't lie. Yeah. For certain things. I does so, get that at that store. Who pays for music, man? Fuck that. <laughs> Unless it's well, the random. Please pay hey. for music. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, um, Always yeah, pay yeah. for your music. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah. Do that. I, this is just for comedy purposes. Entertainment or, value. Entertainment. Exactly. That's it. Always pay for music. But um, 
Yeah, I use it. It's like I'm not, I've got nothing against MP3 converter. It's just like rappers that don't make you aware they're using the beat is probably what annoys me more. I, thought, I don't mind if they're using MP3 converter to get the files. It's easier oh, yeah. for me because I don't have to do the sending. But, but mm. they should at least tell me, base. That's my view. Yeah, I, I feel like the transparency that I feel like. I feel that like for being personally, if you're using a beat for non profit, maybe you're doing a little music video that you're never gonna upload on Spotify. Yeah, you're just you gonna just mm. for for you and the boys basically. If yeah. you're doing it for the man then just and a, it's not going nowhere, then that's calm. I'll be happy to let it go for free more time. Just like a little music video, you're not making profit off Even it. like background people have asked like for YouTube uh, YouTube video background music, this calm like that's fine, like mm -hmm. that's not going that's not gonna take money away from me, basically. If they're obviously going to make a big single, Spotify, all platforms, music video, mm. I want to get a little, little something. Mm. Yeah, true. That that is true. Still, uh, ha like has have has any other instances of that happened before? Uh, nothing big, I would say. Mm. No big. Oh, to be fair, actually, I'll drop this on here. I've never been paid for the free S song by Isbot. <laughs> 